Hello and welcome to the Vancouver Island Regional Library's Virtual Butterfly Program. We will be hatching butterfly larvae and live streaming the process. When all the butterflies are hatched, we will release them in a suitable location. For our program, we are purchasing the larvae from Flutterbys in Langley, BC. Today, we will be making a butterfly net. For this craft, you will need one meter of tulle fabric, a small embroidery hoop, we are using a 26 centimeter hoop, and some pins, or you can use a needle and thread, and a stick that's about at least two feet long. First of all, we will take our fabric and fold it into two lengthwise and we will then fold the edge over a little bit to make a hem, just about an inch would be do, and we will along the long edge and we will pin it all the way through, all the way along. If you find there's a lot of static electricity and the fabric keeps clinging to your hair and clothes, you can take a spray bottle with a little bit of water in it and just lightly spray the fabric so that it'll um, stop the static. When you finished pinning the long end over, then let's, we can do the same thing with the open short end as well. That should be okay. Just make sure you have enough pins put in so that there are not no big gaps where the butterflies can escape. Now, because we have folded a hem over, it should it should be fairly sturdy. There are people that there shouldn't be any gaping holes for the butterflies to escape. Okay. Next, we take the hoop, embroidery hoop apart into two pieces. We take the inner hoop and we slip it over the fa uh, slip the fabric around the inner hoop about a couple of inches in from the edge. We take this end and we fold it over. And then we take the outer hoop and put it around the outside of the inner hoop. It's easier if you lay it down, lay it flat, then we can it doesn't slip out quite as much. <sighs> Try to make it even on all sides so that the fabric isn't slipping out on some of the sides. Next, we take our stick and with the hole in it and we line up the hole with the holes on the frame of the embroidery hoop and we put our screw through in all the, f all the holes and 
and we will bolt it in place. Make sure it's nice and firm so your hoops aren't coming apart. Oh, come on. Why is that? And there we have our butterfly net. Thank you for joining us and we hope you join us for the live streaming of the butterfly pro um, hatching. And also look out for our other video on making a butterfly cage. Thank you.